Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading uh, for Gemini. What, what is your life's purpose? Uh, for December 2022, you could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs, uh, any of your placements, okay? So we're going to take a look and see how your journey is going when it comes to your life's purpose, and then we'll finish off the read to see what your life's purpose is and uh, how you could uh, get to where you need to be. Uh, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, all right? So uh, Gemini, let's get started. Tell me about Gemini here. Tell me how is Gemini's uh, journey going regarding their life's purpose? How is the journey of Gemini's life's purpose going here for December 2022 for Gemini? We have the uh, Eight of Swords in the reverse here. So I feel like you're getting out of your head about something here, okay? You know, I feel like, you know, there, there could have been fear here. You know, you could have been overthinking here, but I feel like you're getting out of that. You're letting that go. Sort of like there's an energy of you going for it, okay? So we have the hermit here, Virgo energy. Yeah, so I feel like you spent a lot of time in hermit mode trying to introspect, self-reflect here, do some soul searching, sort of like figuring out what's in the cards here for you in the future here. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you could be moving towards your goals here when it comes to your life's purpose, okay? Let, let's see what else we have here. We have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. And then we have the Chariot here and the Five of Swords. So I feel like you're moving towards victory here. You know, this could be a situation that you're fighting for what you want. You know, I feel like, you know, your life's purpose here, when it comes to anything here, I feel like it's about, it's about taking action here. And I feel like your fear and perhaps being in your head has kept you from taking action here, okay? Tell me about the Eight of Swords in the reverse. We have the Fool card here. Aries energy, Aquarius energy. Tell me about the Hermit here. Some of you guys might have social anxiety here too. I, I feel like some of you guys might have a hard time, really hard time being around people here, okay? But there's definitely an energy of sort of like going into this or having this new beginning or starting this new beginning with excitement here, okay? You know, perhaps, you know, your perspective has completely changed here. I do feel like there is a huge transformation that's happening here for you. Okay, Scorpio energy here with the death card. Like I said, I feel like, you know, you could have been in your head so much or that you could have been in fear so much that, you know, you let opportunities pass you by. And I feel like maybe that's your life's purpose. That's what you have to do here is to take action here. And I feel like you're doing that. We have the high priestess here, Cancer, Pisces here. We have the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? And then the Nine of Cups. You know, I feel like one of the things is... I feel like another thing I'm getting here is it's about trusting your intuition and really enjoying life here. You know, really truly enjoying the hap your happiness here and living life in the moment and not worrying too much about the future here. You know, or not worrying too much about different scenarios that could happen, things could go wrong. Okay, the chariot here and the eight of wands, five of swords. And the Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. So Eight of Wands and the five, uh, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you know, I feel like this transformation is allowing different options and doors to open up for you when it comes to work. You know, I feel like some of you guys maybe have been unable to, you know, to surround yourself with people because of maybe the social anxiety or the social awkwardness here, but I feel like that is changing. 
okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. What is um, Gemini's life's purpose and how can they achieve this life's purpose here for December 2022 for Gemini, for Gemini here, okay? We have the Empress here and the Ten of Swords, Libra, Taurus energy. You could have any of these energies that I have mentioned here, okay? We have the Four of Cups and the Three of Cups, and then we have the Page of Swords here and the Ten of Wands. The Empress here and the Ten of Swords. I mean, you definitely rose like a phoenix here, okay? Any pain that you've been through here, any hurt that you've been through here, any discontentment that you've gone through here, I feel like you're overcoming it. And like I said, I feel like a lot of your fear has really held you back a lot, held you back from taking, uh, you know, seizing opportunities here, okay? And I feel like, you know, you are in this energy of seizing opportunities here. You know, with the Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, this could be an indication that you've gone through like a lot of childhood traumas here. You know, I feel like, you know, this is so interesting because I, I'm getting like, I'm getting like, there could have been a situation where someone here had to grow up really quickly because someone's parents were under the influence or that they had addiction problems here. And I feel like a lot of the burdens fell onto you because of that, because you, you might have been dealing with parents that were irresponsible. And I feel like you could be, you know, you could be changing that, you know, you could be changing the course of history, changing the course of destiny here by doing the work to heal from that trauma or heal from that or to, um, you know, cycle through that karma here. Uh, the Empress, we have the Two of Swords. So we have the Ten of Swords here and the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. So I feel like, you know, you're making a decision, you know, Basically, you have what it takes to sort of overcome this, to sort of move past this, and I feel like you're doing it here. Uh, Virgo energy, Gemini energy with the Magician here. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Oh, we have the Four of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles here. Look at that. This is really beautiful. Four of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles here. So, you know, you're definitely coming into this very peaceful place, this very comfortable place for before as before you were really uncomfortable with everything with yourself things around you here um tell me about the page of swords we have the four of pentacles tell me about the ten of wands here and the three of swords yeah so i feel like you know there's an energy of no longer holding on to your pain here okay really letting that go really letting that pain go and that fear go yeah, it seems like you're finding your freedom here with the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And I just feel like you're moving towards things that, you know, are fulfilling to you, uh, things that make you happy here. Tell me more about Gemini here when it comes to their life's purpose. We have leadership, take charge of the situation. Yeah, it seems like you're taking charge here of yourself, okay? Let's grab one more here. It's sort of like an energy of no longer playing the victim here, you know? So we have Builder. You have an innate ability to build and create and bring, and create brings a deep sense of accomplishment. So, you know, Builder here, you know, this could be, you know, rebuilding yourself and perhaps helping others rebuild themselves here. You know, perhaps you could turn, you know, your experience into, you know, your life's purpose about helping others here. Okay, I mean, this is a major transformation here. This is a beautiful transformation, all right? So, uh, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one, all right? Thanks, guys. Bye.